Samtastic here, bringing you another how-to. This time I am fixing my uh, adapter for my laptop. Um, initially, this adapter didn't actually fit my laptop. It had a different tip on it, but the adapter that had the right tip burned out. So what I what I did is I I spliced the two together. Um, I just cut them open and, and taped all that up. So that works. The cable in this case is fine. Um, I wasn't sure that it was, so I ended up removing a, a pretty significantly sized piece of it that is like a foot and a half long. Uh, but uh, I did determine that the issue in this case is the tip. When you wiggle it, you can, I mean, it, it shouldn't be moving, and it is in this case. Um, so I'm, what I'm going to do is I'm going to I'm going to cut this open and get inside there and uh, and solder the connection to make sure it, it stays on there right. And so to do that, I I picked up from Radio Shack. I picked up a 25 watt um, soldering iron and um, got some electrical tape and I got Rosencore silver bearing solder and uh, it's. Do, 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 the 0 0.022 inch diameter and I have a little packet of straight razors here as well uh, which are used to cut into the tip of the adapter and this plastic is actually it seems like it, it'd be a whole lot harder to get into than this but it's pretty soft when you when you start taking a fresh razor to it as you can see, bits of it will just shave right off. And so I'm going to just kind of cut down into the top of it and uh, go right to work. And this is something that you may need to do if you just have to get your computer up and running when the adapter's not working and you just can't wait to get another one if you order it online or something. This isn't a permanent fix um, unless you do a really good job on it, critical success. Um, but it it will... Um, I, have, I have done this on another adapter before and it, it will get it working when the tip starts messing up at least for a while. Okay so in the process of getting all excited and making this little pile of shaved plastic here I, I did sort of come across an interesting discovery. Uh, if you look really carefully you can see as I slice this into little pieces here there's this white wire and then there's a little bit of copper wire right there and the copper wire is going to run to the outside to this section on the, the outside of the tip and then the white wire is, is going to go to the inside. Um, as you may or may not know with uh, direct current which is what this ad adapter does, it turns it from alternating current to direct current uh, it has a specific polarity where one side's positive and one side's negative and you don't want to mix that up. Uh, so I'd, I dug out the, this is a section of the power cord that I had removed earlier and trying to figure out where the short was. And when you strip away the, the outside of it, you've got this wire that's on the outside. And then inside is additional wire. And so that's going to be the that white inside is this the same white casing. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to skip this whole thing entirely and I'm just going to resolder this tip back on there. So we go ahead and just remove this because I don't know what part of that has the issue. And then strip off this outside layer. get that out of the way. And you don't want these wires to be touching when you do this. So you want to make sure that whatever you take off of the outside, you take off less of it on the inside. So I'm going to just take a very little bit off of this since I just need enough to solder it, basically. And that's what I've got so far. And I'll just pull this off. And so this, this inside section 
is going to go to this. So it's got it's conveniently got this little loop in there. And so I'll just feed that through and wrap that around. And I'm going to get that connection soldered first. So the next thing that I do is plug in the soldering iron. And then we wait for that to heat up. Okay, now if you've never used a soldering iron, it's loads of fun. You get to burn metal. Um, so this is heated up sufficiently, and the way that you're supposed to do this is, uh, you know, make sure that you're only working on the piece that you want to be working on. I don't want to be putting, I don't want to be connecting circuits where they don't need to be connected. I don't want to get this negative connected to the positive. So you set the solder on top of what you want to be soldering, and you just touch the soldering iron to it, and it will smoke and melt your solder onto what you're doing there. And so, I don't know how you can see it on this camera, but there is a little bead of solder on there that's holding that in place now. And I'm going to go ahead and be thorough and solder it on the other side as well. So that should be pretty much sufficient, I think, in that case. So I'm happy with that. And what I'm going to do now is get some electrical tape and get that little section separated off from the rest. In retrospect, I kind of wish I had shaved that down a little bit farther so that this tape would fit. So, I'll just split that in half. And then get that covered up. I like it so. that leaned over right there. And I'm going to just push it onto the solder and that solder will melt. And suck those wires into it. And I'm not entirely confident with how well that worked, so I'm going to put a little bit more on there for good measure. Oh, now it's coming loose. Alright, now I'll admit that I'm not very good with the soldering iron, so I didn't get this done very quickly and it got kind of hot, so I'm using some needle nose pliers here to hold on to this while I get this melted together. And I think I've about got it. So. On there, there's um, a connection on that, and again, just for good measure, I'm going to 
add a little bit more solder to that just to make sure that it's held on well enough. And that's on there. And it's actually making that copper wire so hot that it's melting to that electrical tape there, so it's a good thing that I put plenty of it. Um, because it's trying to burn through it. And that's definitely on there good and tight right now. And so then what I'm gonna do is just take this whole thing and go completely and totally, absolutely overboard in taping it up. Because I don't want any of that to be exposed to myself or any uh, any of the hardware, anything that's I don't I don't want uh, crossed wires plugged into my computer, and so I'm just going to put a lot of tape on here. Uh, yeah, the soldering iron. Um, if you aren't used to using one, just don't touch it. Uh, if it's been plugged in like within the last hour because it will burn the crap out of you. I think this one, it said it gets up to like 600 and something Fahrenheit, um, which, I mean, it's hot enough to melt metal, so it'd definitely be hot enough to burn the crap out of your skin. Just don't, don't mess around with it. Don't take chances with it. And now I'm going to make sure that this still fits in there. And it seems to. And then the next thing that we want to do is uh, actually plug it in and see if my computer explodes. Okay, for the full nighttime ambience, uh, this is a computer. It's on. You can see that, that blue glowing light right there. And there's a light next to it which will glow purple uh, when it gets plugged in when it's charging. So we're taking this janked out, messed up adapter here that I just soldered together and I'm plugging it in and there you go it's now charging and so yeah this is not usually what you want to do as a permanent fix uh, for your computer but it will uh, if it's if the adapter is not working you're having to jiggle it all the time and your computer keeps having to shut off uh, this is a temporary fix that you can do uh, you know, while you while you wait the week for your new adapter to come in, you know, find the best deal on it instead of stressing out and getting you know, something horribly overpriced just because you need it right then. Um, and uh, and there you have it. That's my how to fix your laptop adapter when it has shorted out uh, in the tip. So <sighs> don't cross your wires, don't break your hardware, and uh, and good luck. Samtastic out.